Troom Troom is boring now, but it wasn't always. I have made probably more videos on Troom Troom than any other topic on this channel. Their content is the perfect mix of absurdity, entertainment, controversy, and inappropriateness regarding their target demographic. It's a channel so perfect for commentary, you would be hard pressed to find a single commentary channel that hasn't made some sort of video about Troom Troom. But that's just not the case anymore. YouTube has changed, the landscape has changed, and most importantly, Troom Troom has changed. <laughs> We've touched on the history before it, but Troom Troom started as an honest to God crafts channel. No jokes, no craziness, no butts in thumbnails. Over time, they pushed the boundaries and found that kids loved it when they made over the top absurd life hacks. This was the start of YouTube gold. 12 weird ways to snake food into class. Slash school lunch ideas. Look at these thumbnails. This is like classic. We've got the bold color. The close-up of something super dumb. <laughs> Everyone loves to sneak candies, chips, and cookies into class. But Everyone. school can also be healthy. We're going to share a few easy health snack ideas. Healthy? Ways of he health snacks? Think about this. Think about this. Trim Trim used to push for healthy snacks. Imagine, imagine Shroom Shroom pushing anything morally correct these days. <laughs> Sweets can hide in the most unexpected places. No mm. one will guess that my hair clip is decorated with marshmallow. You see? Add water to gelatin and stir. And now they tell you how to do it. The hair clip is a marshmallow. Bam. Five seconds into the video after the intro. We were left here wondering, what? Who is making a hair clip out of a marshmallow? That was a weird idea to us. Could you imagine? That was weird. <laughs> now we're like, oh, what? Hair clip out of a marshmallow doesn't even compute as something weird in our heads. Apply it to a flat top hair clip and attach marshmallows to shape a bow. <laughs> when I feel bored in class, I just break a piece of marshmallow off the barrette and put it into my mouth. Any sweet toothed hairdresser would be jealous of my cute candy stash. Any sweet toothed hairdresser would be jealous of my candy stash. What does that even mean? <laughs> it used to be so innocent. We have a marshmallow hair clip. Yeah, that's pretty weird. But only if you imagine that someone would actually do it. We used to extend them that benefit of the doubt. We assume that they're actually trying to make a helpful video. A healthy school snack cooking class is going to begin right now. Wow. First of all, let's make a healthy lunchbox with almonds, vegetables, and a sweet sandwich inside of it. Do you, you see what I'm getting at? They're trying to convince us. They're trying to convince us that this is something you should actually be doing. They're like, look, let's be real here. Yeah, we're going to sneak some snacks into class, but you got to pay attention to your health. You got to make sure you got cucumbers and almonds. There's no wonder. We're all watching these videos going, ah, so, are they, so they're being serious? Should I be gluing marshmallows to a hair clip? The snack looks so healthy and tasty that Miss Gonzalez sneaks the sandwich out of the lunchbox. Meanwhile, we've caught her red-handed. I mean, fruit-handed and sandwich-handed. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good cracker right there, Trim Trim. Red-handed? I mean, I'm more like fruit-handed and veggie sandwich-handed. <laughs> this is uncoincidentally, when most of us started to pick up on it. There was so much fun to be had poking fun at Troom Troom. Now, look at all the YouTube commentators you know and love. None of them, well, most of them, don't actually enjoy being mean to people. There's a subtle but important difference between making fun of someone and providing humorous commentary on someone's content. It's a line that we all find a little bit hard to balance, sometimes pushing it too far one way or another. But here Troom Troom was, in all its glory, a faceless YouTube content farm, making videos so ridiculous, you wonder how it's legal. The actors didn't even have names. There was no Susie or Pamela. There was just Blondie and Blue-Eyed Girl. Finally, YouTube commentators all around the world have the chance to just Go ham. Say what you really think. There's no risk, hesitation, or guilt. In this moment, we are but kids in a courtyard calling Trim Trim a silly little goose. And they're just loving us for doing it. Now, I don't know what unnamed Ukrainian business person behind all this made the decision. 
but they leaned into it. Like the kid who just gets bullied and goes along with it for so long that everyone just starts to respect him. He becomes one of the boys. It's become an odd sort of mutually beneficial relationship where Troom Troom would push the boundaries and make crazier and crazier videos while we just continue to make videos about them because of how crazy they were. It's like we were egging them on, just asking for more and Troom Troom happily obliged. Then Troom Troom entered what I refer to as its golden age. Sure, in commentary terms, their videos were good. They were really good. But now the boundaries had been pushed past the point wondering whether they're actually a real life hack channel or not and had just started touching the cusp of real, unadulterated absurdity. I'm talking proper bangers. 15 ways to sneak snacks and or drugs onto a plane. 15 ways to sneak your worms pandemic virus into a water park. Of which the thumbnail was so extremely intense that the video was demonetized on my channel. 15 ways to sneak snacks into the water park. Pizza bikini. Bam. Going to a water park with your own food? Wow, that's extreme. It's a beautiful summer day. That's a great reason to go to the water park. Wow, yeah! there is so much fun stuff here, but it's better to bring your own food and drinks. Because there are no food and drinks at a water park. They do not exist. You must bring your own. But how are you going to get it past the creepy security guard? I don't know, Troom Troom. You tell us. And here it is, the paradise for water lovers. <laughs> water lovers. <laughs> Did I make that joke the first time? <laughs> water lovers. Aye. Water lovers. It sounds like a pirate shanty. A man once walked to the water park and called he out to me. I see you are a water fan, a lover of the sea. I know this world's a ratchet place. But if you'll follow me, I'll sneak you in some snacks, and troom troomers we shall be. And a very strict security guard. Carrie and Barbara are walking in like everything is fine. Carrie and Barbara, they have names now. Oh no, Trim Trim, what are you doing? Haven't they heard about the ban on bringing food? Uh-oh. <laughs> They'll have to deal with the security guard. Ah, oh, back when it all made sense. The reason you're sneaking the snacks into the water park is because they're expensive at the water park and bringing your own in are banned. So come up with some creative solutions, Trim Trim, and they better be wacky. He's very harsh. Get out. But Sophia is smarter. She draws the guard's attention to something else. Wow. <laughs> like what? How did we get... From sneaking a vegetable sandwich into a classroom to... Wow! <laughs> I get past the security guard using something else. The guard's brain is off. She can go in the water park. Now she can shrink her chest. I just... I... Look, it's so weird. It is... It is so weirdly messed up. But think about it. When you're trying to find weird videos to show the internet, just to show people how weird the internet can be, it doesn't get better than this. It's terrible. It's horrible. But when your entire shtick here is to make videos about terrible, horrible things, the math is simple. Everything they were putting out was some magic concoction designed to bring them and everyone talking about it views. You couldn't make this stuff up, but Troom Troom did. But all great things come to an end. And just as the avatar disappeared when we needed him the most, so too did Shroom Shroom. Or at least the magic that made it Shroom Shroom. Around the time I made my collaborative video with Jess Pack, exposing her for the first time to the wonders of Shroom Shroom. Sorry, Jess. I started to notice what was becoming of my boy, what the world had done to him. Shroom Shroom, after all these years of being egged on, had started to cross the line. They used to fart in inappropriate situations, but now they're just laying hot, steamy turds on the teacher's desk. It's not funny anymore. It's just odd. It's lost its subtlety. We used to laugh at how kids' classroom hacks would require kids to hide Stanley knives in their pencil cases. And now we're faced with rich versus poor 
princesses who Freaky Friday body swapped after doing a TikTok dance and now the rich princess just doesn't know what to do because she has to put trash in a trash can. Great. Love the thumbnail. Very interesting. I'm, I'm very interested. <laughs> rich and poor princesses both love TikTok. Oops. That's not my shoe! <gasps> and that's not my dress hey. either! Did we switch Aww. places? Why? What are you... What is... What are you... Why? Oh. Time for a snack! <gasps> oh no! Dirty dishes! That's gross! Blech. Unfortunately, the poor princess doesn't have a maid. Yeah, doesn't have a maid and also doesn't know how to clean up after herself. What's that got to do with being poor? I thought the rich person would be the one who doesn't know how to clean up after themselves. Oh, Blech. it stinks! Gross! How do they do that? Come on, Maeve, you can do it! No, you can I can't! Do a it, horse, rich one! A fort! That's what I need! Great! Now that's more like it! Just a little more! It's all going to be fine! Not again! Aww, Aww I missed! No way! That's <gasps> not for me! So what? Like, it, it, you can't even follow it. You can't even follow anything that's going on. It's just really high pitch voices over and again and again. It's just saying random things. So it's a fork. I'll put you the fork to get the trash in the bag. It's all gonna be okay. I can't work with this. Which is important to note. Because when I say Trim Trim first rose and then fell, I guess I only really mean what I. A YouTube reaction slash commentator want out of them. I'm no longer entertained, or or at least I no longer feel as though I can create entertaining content out of their videos. Sure, in the past couple of months, their views seem to have dropped something like 50%, but their views seem to bounce around the place anyway. And when we're talking a drop from 200 and something million views a month to a measly 100 and something million views a month, I mean, someone at the top of this shebang is still sitting fairly comfortably. Regardless, I feel that while I said I wouldn't make any more Troom Troom videos, this one was necessary. Because it's important to take a step back, reflect, and chronicle the great scorn by. Especially when they played such an important role in the creation of your channel. Also, with some distance behind me, it having been quite a while since the last time I spoke about them. I'm not caught up in the frustration of the expectation to make another video about them, while their decline in quality makes it harder and harder to make good content. I can just reflect on what was a great, terrible, but great moment in YouTube commentary history, as we send the golden period of Troom Troom content off in a blaze of glory, a fiery boat down the stream of a Viking funeral. Some may be hoping to see your face once more should you rise again. Some may have grown bitter towards the downward spiral of quality and YouTube creators such as myself milking it for all it's worth. The only thing I can say to you, my sweet child, as YouTube moves on and you can finally rest your eyes, it's, it's not, not a problem, problem anymore. anymore.